in part one, we described capitalism and the arguments in favour. Here we're going to be looking at some of the arguments why anarchists tend to be against capitalism. Why? Because it reduces human beings to just their labour power. And we know this because most large institutions have departments of human resources. Human beings are just being used for the most efficient forms of production and a way to maximise um, uh, returns on investment. Capitalists need to get as much labour for as little money as possible. This is not because uh, they are individually evil per se. It's because if the capitalist doesn't, and their competitors do, then the one overpaying for their labor or underworking that labor is not going to get as much return on their investment as their competitor, and they're going to become less competitive. And capitalism sees everything ultimately in terms of M dash, in terms of exchange value. Ultimately, it's all about how to maximize financial returns which means that human life, environmental entities are only valued insofar as they maximize return on investment. If they're not useful for maximizing return on investment, they literally have no value under capitalism. And capitalism requires particularly repressive institutions in order to run. This circuit of value operates through institutions. For anarchists, explaining and demystifying capitalism means that we can show how capitalist institutions operate, why they are repressive, and how we can, and indeed do, make things under different, more benevolent and just principles, that we can do better.